Okay, there are two things. We're talking about traveling alone for a woman without her male mahram or husband, whether she's young or old. The vast majority of the scholars, it is not permissible. The vast majority of the scholars are of the view that it is not permissible due to the sound ahadith and references. There are some contemporary scholars who adopted the view that if she's traveling in a safe company, it is permissible. Now, the second part of the question is, if she's already in Mecca, now we don't know how she traveled by herself with a mahram or without a mahram. Now, she is in Mecca. Is it permissible for her to perform umrah Without her mahram, it is permissible. Okay. What about if she traveled all the way from her initial point to the final destination to Mecca without a male mahram in order to perform umrah? She does not have to, even if it is hajj. But what if she did? Would hajj be accepted? Is hajj valid? Is hajj valid? Yes, if she fulfills the remaining conditions and the mandatory parts of hajj. But she is in violation for traveling alone without a mahram. The acceptance is a secret between the servant and his creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one can ask the shaykh, will hajj be accepted in this condition? I don't know. I don't know even if my hajj is accepted or not. I'm the one who, who's done it. I don't know if my sadaqah will be accepted or not. I do my best. I give والذين يؤتون ما آتوا وقلوبهم وجلة أنهم إلى ربهم راجعون. The true believers they give whatever they give of good deeds of charity of fasting of Hajj and their hearts are frightened. They don't know whether this good deed will be accepted or not, and they will be returned to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to see whether their amal have been accepted and granted uh, the reward from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala or not. So I can only answer within my capacity. Is it valid to perform Umrah without a male mahram? It is valid. But the woman who travels without a male mahram is uh, actually involved in a violation of a sin of traveling without a male mahram. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, it is not permissible for a woman who believes in Allah and in the last day to travel the travel distance, which, whether it's a day, two or three, more or less, without her male mahram. هذا والله تعالى أعلى وأعلم.